Okay. I have mine all written down. Internet. We are now recording for. I know this. Um, I want to say 106 of Enter the Dungeon. Some. Um, I entered it at 99. I know that. I know that for a fact. Um, I don't remember when I entered. Oh, 107. Oh. Right. 106 was tastes like tissue damage. Which is the only prompting I'm going to give for you guys to start on your recap. Wait, what? Recap. Yep. So we only go, go. I, I all I remember is I wake up to Thitch jumping out of a window, so I also jump out of a window. Um, and then we we're going. I forgot where we're going exactly, but I challenged uh, Gertold to an arm wrestling competition, to which he rolled a nineteen, and I rolled a two. So nice. uh, he he won that pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Um, he won that, and my morale is down. But and then we we wind up. I forget how or where or what or when, but we are in a tower. And we're fighting what seem to be inanimate beings um, that progressively get difficult, more and more difficult. Oh, we entered the portal. We went through. What, we we used mm-hmm. the one of the gemstones as a portal to like, go through the thing, right? Not the gemstone. It was the uh, what were they? A necklace? Yeah, it was. And well, he, he was wearing it around his neck. It was an artifact of sorts. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Dragon Wrath, I think that's the name. Yeah, Tower Dragon Wrath. That's where. Oh, we're... wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that my arm wrestling match was too like oh, a long time ago because that was all I part of the that... same session. Oh, well, that wasn't the riddle one, was it? No, no, no. Yeah, that was two episodes. Yeah, was... yeah the the riddle tree was a while back. <laughs> Chris, was that the session you were out for? Yeah, I was. Okay. Oh, yeah. that was fun. That was fun. We spent half the time doing riddles. I'm come on, why'd you come on, Drew? <laughs> Drew was like dying to find riddles. <laughs> I think at least. <sighs> and, and you guys hated my answer of a map. No, 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 no. You wait. I'm trying to remember. There was something like. No, no. You guys insisted it was ants, but the answer I had was map. Remember that? Yes, yes, yes. Ants technically were correct. The only thing that was different was like the mountain thing. But yeah. ant makes makes them out. So yeah. But anyway, so um, all right. You guys also started exploring the tower, and you were able to get to the first floor. Yeah. And Riley, when he, uh, rather Riley's character of um Gordon Flay, when he realized that the torch wasn't emitting any heat, he took it with him and just started licking it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like like a lollipop. Yes. Or like a ice cream cone. I remember that. Yeah. I was yes, tasting and I fire. jokingly asked Andreas, hey, what does fire taste like? And he's like, well, normally it tastes like tissue damage. <laughs> Wait, did I actually yes. take it? No, I didn't. I didn't actually lose any health on that. What does fire taste like? Huh. Yeah, to this, according, nothing. According to this one. Yeah, Super because spicy. what, well, to be, well, off topic, what is fire? Is it just the exciting excitement of electrons? I what? That's what electricity, I thought. Yeah. Fire is I'm a playing plasma dragons with friends. made from chemical a- interaction. <laughs> Actually, I should have already had this done. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just going to dive right in. I will drop the next map in because we ended the last session with you guys jumping through the next pipe. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the, the, the non-stolen trademark uh, pipes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is this is the map um, in the maps thing? Just about to post it. Gotcha. Okay, there you go. So you guys are diving through this tower, and after just a few moments, you land on what feels like solid stone, and you realize that you're in a, a somewhat dark cave system. So it was a good thing that Gordon brought that torch with him. Oh, let's go! Like messed up or something like i just didn't hear anything from the last second okay sorry so it's a dark tunnel and i have a uh, torch which is good yes okay so wait did we leave the other guys down there so um as far as you can tell 
Geralt and Earthmover did not come through the pipe. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, and then that's a spider right above us? Um, yes, yeah, so I'll expose the whole scene once Chris gets back, but real quick, what Gordon notices is that there seems to be a um, a large spider eyeing him. Okay, uh, Chris, you're here. Okay. Yes. So yes, you guys slam down into this dark cavern. Good thing. Gordon has a torch. And what you're able to... Yeah, what you're able to notice is that there seems to be a giant spider nearby, and then across uh, the brown squares are a bridge, and then there's stone outcroppings. There seem to be some drow men holding crossbows. Okay. Um, so do we retain the same initiative from last week? Or... Um, We're going to roll new ones every I don't week. even remember my initiative from last week. Neither do I. I asked you guys which you preferred, and I think the consensus was they wanted to re-roll. But if you want, I can just look up what they were. I have it all in my notes. I think we'll. Uh, mine... I think we can re-roll. Re-roll okay. is a little bit easier. If mine was yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Actually, yeah, tell us how that works. First, and then we'll go. Yeah, go ahead and re-roll, then. <laughs> oh. oh, was it that bad? <laughs> So I just, uh, as we're re-rolling, I had an, an idea pop into my head. VR, D, and D. Oh, yeah, I've thought oh, of that before as well. It, it, it was definitely something I would gosh. be I would be willing to do if you could figure it out. It would just... Yeah, I think... Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I was thinking of, like, all of the DM would need to do is create maps and such. Or just download maps if there's already some. But, huh, that'd be awesome. No, you go ahead. Oh, hold on. So wait, you add your dexterity, right? Yes. Okay. Ha, I got a five. That's fun. Well, two plus five, so. I'm gonna die. Well, gonna luckily die. for one of us, let me double check my dex. My dex. Oh, also, Riley, if you see on the side of the screen there, um, there's an icon of a frying pan. I made that for you because um, there was a bit of confusion oh. before of who was the G. So would you rather yes. you continue using the um, F uh, in the, I guess that's a half circle, or do you want that frying pan? Um, oh, there's a frying pan? Yeah, I thought that would be a fun way to identify your character. Frying pan for, yes, definitely frying pan. I would like to see the. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that's that's the one. Well, you can go ahead and edit. Uh, Thitch, I did not catch your um, modifier or your dex. I did not I catch rolled... your initiative. I rolled a sixteen. Okay. Oh, you hey, rolled a sixteen. Uh, natural. Yeah, I rolled a sixteen. Okay, so the twenty total. Yeah. No surprise, Thitch is gonna go first. Eighty. Okay. So, oh, wait. I rolled a two with a plus three, so I got a five. So, nice. wait, so describe what's going on. To my right is... To your right seems to be a giant spider, and then there are four uh, drow pointing crossbows at you, and one of them says, welcome, challenger. I look at the bridge. What's the bridge made out of? Seems to be made out, seems to be a rope wood bridge. What's all these hey. lines below us? Uh, those seem to be spider webs. Very disorganized spider web. Oh, I'm what? Sure. So now spiders? <laughs> um, what's the... Uh, hold themselves to the laws of geometry? Actually, yes. <laughs> well, but, maybe um, it's actually just so big that you can't see the pattern from where you are. Yes, exactly. Okay. Isn't that a fun thought? Yes, how three of the webs are pointing at three other areas. Oh well. Or maybe we um, made by a spider smart enough to decide to not follow a pattern. Well then, okay. Either way, these draw have to die. Question. Yes. Uh, how many block? How many feet is it between me and the drow? Um, each square is five feet. (sighs) 
checking my stats here. Give me a second. Um, I wish you said it's my turn, right? Yes. And it's four, five feet each one. Yes. So you're 40 feet away from drown number four. My speed is 40 feet. It is? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, right. You probably leveled. Yeah, I guess when you leveled up, you got more speed. Okay. Why? You didn't want me to be as fast? No, no. I, I thought that your speed was 35. I was just confused. Oh, it used to be 35, yeah. Yeah. All Wait. right, so I obviously have to go to one of the drow. One of the drow. Okay. You're just going to dart over there? I mean, yeah. What else am I going to do? Let them shoot me? You could. <laughs> what? And then let, um... What? What's that thing that I do? Just so deflecting missiles anyway, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, deflecting missiles. Okay, you know what to do. Uh, question. How far can I throw a drop? Um, your judo abilities basically let you shove at a 90 degree angle. Oh, right. Question. What would happen if there was a person in front of a person? Would I knock them into each other? Um... I mean, depends on how well you roll, I guess. It would be a massive strength contest to try to push a person through another person. Right. All right, death by punches it is. <laughs> Let us roll. Where's my dice? There's. Roll the d20. Ah! Yeah, 20. Ah! Wait. Hey. We know what to do. All right. Um, I'm, um, uh, Hold on. D is a D. Combat. Melee. Unarmed. Base AC. No. I don't even remember what to do anymore. Is it D or D6? D8. D6. D6. Never mind. 2D6. Yes. Uh, so then 2d6, that is a, let's go for 11 then. Okay. I guess they want, I want, apparently my character really wants to end this fast. Okay. Wait, is that double damage? So the... Critical hit meant that you rolled 2d6 for damage, but you add your dex modifier to it. Okay. So is that a 15 total? Uh, dex modifier is for 11. Yeah, 15 total. Okay. So you punch into this guy, and you you just feel, you know, um, his bones and organs explode around you and you get covered by, you know, just his internal fluids and it starts to burn a little bit. I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Okay. Can you guys hear and see me? Well, yeah. Yep. Okay. Can you, have you, have you been hearing me for the past couple minutes? Uh, no, no, I thought that you walked away to do something. Yeah. Okay. I, there was something in my eye and it was really bothering me. Ah. And I think I fixed my, my computer or like my connection but i should be pretty good from here on out what do i need to do to save drew a constitution saving throw yeah it's a 12 would that save mm, okay with a 12 like <laughs> you take 10 acid damage ow dude that hurt Dang. 
10? 10 acid damage. And you don't have as much health as I do. And that's so no. How much health do you have? 30 what? I had, I had 43. 43? Oh, okay. That's not good. I only have 46, so I mean... But what about the drought? What happened? He seems to be dead. Collapses downwards. Okay, whose turn is it next then? Um. Well, Thitch does have multi-attack. Does it reach number three? Uh, you are completely out of speed. But if you want, um, do you have any like daggers you can throw? I do, but they're melee. Yeah. Well, uh. Any knife can be thrown. Okay, fine. Improvised weapon? Improvised ranged weapon? I mean, daggers are by default considered thrown weapons. Ah, I see you. Okay. Um, Alright, sure. I'll throw a dagger at number one because I don't want to lose my dagger into the webs. Yeah. I mean, Chris, if you, if you oh, don't want smart. this, I can fact check the, 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 the qualities of a dagger. Anyway, you know what to do. It's going to be the same type of attack roll. You rolled a seven? Yeah. Well, it's going to be plus dex and proficiency. Fourteen, then. (sighs) Okay, so with a fourteen, you know, it looks like it's about to get him, but it just... um, bounces right off of his armor. You can see like where there seems to be a cut in the leather, so you think that you were very close to uh, making contact, and he just chuckles at you and says something in Elvish. Oi! You're mocking me! Okay, then. Um, I throw Fitch my... I say, hey, Fitch, use mine! And I throw mine at him. <laughs> Try again! Try again! The funny thing is that Fitch could probably catch that if he did. Oh, yeah, you're monks. Monks, they're like high text here. Okay. I don't. You got three. You got three. You got blows, but that's specifically yeah. counting. <laughs> if I no, really wanted to, I can get four. Well, you, yes, but those require that they be punching, and you don't have that long of arms. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually a halfling. Five long arms. <laughs> right? yeah. I'm a halfling. I'm half the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number like two is going to <laughs> aim his crossbow right at Fitch. Oh, boy. I'm guessing that a ten is a miss. Ah, uh, just barely. <laughs> Goes right over your head. Question, can I catch it? No, no. It's uh, no over right. your head. Dang it. You don't have the ups for that. Hit me. And number one, seeing that, is going to um, bar his sword and run at you. I'm guessing a nine is a mess. And so in one moment, a bolt is launched at you and a drow rushes towards you with a sword. The bolt goes well over your head and the arrow is... So the bolt goes to your head, and the uh, sword goes way to your right, so both attacks miss. To the right? Into the gaping ho- abyss below? Yeah. Okay. Well, he doesn't drop his sword or anything, but you get the oh, idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Um... <laughs> number three's gonna go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's going to step forward <laughs> so that he's now flanking you. Oh boy, I'm surrounded. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Just wait till I get my bow out. My, my boy. My boy. Don't hit me. Oh, okay, I'm guessing that a 20 that total one. beats your armor class. <laughs> a 20 total? Yeah. Just a bit? Just a bit. Okay, you take 8 slashing or piercing damage. So you're at negative here, minus 18. He stabs you with his sword. Let me find eight. Right, this, I bet you this spider's gonna move before me. Minus 8, you said? Well, actually, Gordon, it is now your turn. Okay. So, I'm going to draw my longbow and, or my, uh, is it, yeah, longbow. 
and then uh, attack number three. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Don't hit Fetch. Even though, wait, can I even deflect missile that? No, it, it's it's not gonna hit you even if it misses, probably. For what? So, oh, go ahead. Uh, like, yeah, Drew. If he does miss and it hits, like supposedly nat ones, what does it happen? Can I deflect missile that? That's a bridge we'll burn when we get to it. Okay, fine. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Almost forgot. This. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention something, or reiterate it at least. You will have disadvantage on this ranged attack because of how dark it is. Me? Yes. Since but I'm you holding don't a have torch. Vision. But I'm holding a torch. Or, but I have a torch, right? Um, here's the range on your torch, more or less. That's the dim light range. Ah. So you'll have anywhere in the dim game you can shoot normally. So I would I would be at disadvantage trying to hit number three, right? Yes. Oh man, that was a good roll. So, oh, now I have to think about it. I rolled a fourteen, and so plus my attack modifier, which is plus six, so that was a twenty. So, but um, you'd have to roll two times total. Yeah. So I'm I am going to now that knowing now knowing that I am. Uh, so. Quick question. Oh, man. Okay, now I'm trying to think of something. Also, it's a longbow, right? Okay. Yes. So, hear me this out. This is important, because longbows require two arms, so you would probably have to put down the torch to do this, so that might incur further penalties. Okay. So, assessing my situation, I yell out, Hold on, bitch! I, um... I'm going to try and convince this spider that I am a spider by using <laughs> spider climb and walking up on the walls. You right. have- wait a second. I am proficient in persuasion, I think I can do it. And I have charm person as well, so can I use charm person on a spider? It's a spider, you get the fe- with your medical- with your- sorry, magical- <laughs> magical training, you get the feeling that that spell wouldn't work on it. Also, those <laughs> okay. you couldn't cast Spider Climb and Charm Person on the same turn. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Well, I do like where I this just... is going, though. I, I, I yeah, like okay, the out-of-the-box okay. thinking. So, I okay, I yell out to the spider. Can you hear me? Alright, can you understand me, I guess? Oh, wait, do I have to detect magic? Uh, well, I guess that really wouldn't help. So this spider, like, he's just kind of, like, sitting there... Or, I guess, standing on his eight legs, mostly calmly, mm -hmm. just kind of um, eyeing the situation. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. So I can see that he's just calm. Okay, I'm gonna walk. What's my moving speed? Or, like. Uh, I'm gonna you walk. Have a moving speed of 30. Okay. And each one of these are five, right? So 5, 10, yes. 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. So um, I'm going to move. Close to Thitch, and that's one action, right? If I move 30 feet, that's one action? Um, you're, you, so you can move up to your speed on your turn, just for free? Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, then yeah, I'm going to move to Thitch. Okay. And then I'm going to drop the torch. And, um, so I have two hand axes. Can I pull up my shield and my axe at the same, at, and one of the hand axes in the same time? Uh, where, 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 where are you keeping them on your person? Like, they're not stowed, are they? Um, no, I'll, so, let's see, so I have, I have a, I have a, I have a sword and two hand axes and a shield and a longbow. So, I, I'm assuming that the, sh the shield and the longbow are gonna be on my back and then I have either hand axes on my sides and then probably the, sh the sword in my back. I think that yeah, they're, they're not stowed. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, is your goal to use all three of those this, this turn? Um, I was, both so, of those I was, rather? Because you have two attacks, right? Yeah. So, um, or can what I what I guess I, my question was: Can I hold the shield and the sword at the same time? 
Yes, yes. You you can hold out your sh- shield in one hand and then a sword in the other. Okay. What what do you think would be a better like what would do more damage? Uh the sword or the the axe? Cuz I know that the sword with one hand doesn't do as much damage with two hands. Uh, just depends on what well so what type of weapons are they? So I have a long sword and then a hand axe. I have two hand axes. I was thinking if I'm holding a shield in one hand and then in the right hand a hand axe or a long sword. So the hand axe does less damage, but the advantage is that if you were dual wielding hand axes, you could um, take advantage of multi weapon fighting. Gotcha. Um, okay, then I'll do just the the long bow. I mean the long sword. Yes. So I'm gonna wield the the shield and the long sword, and then I'm gonna swing. Okay, finally, you know, I'm gonna swing at him with my long sword. Uh, number three. Okay. Let's go for it. Sorry that took so long. And I got a, got a six. I got a nine. Nine total? To hit. Well, is yeah. that plus your mods? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. That misses. Yeah. So so what I'm guessing at, so like the way I'm picturing this is that like you were pointing at your longbow, you realized you didn't have a clean shot, so you just ran at them with your sword, but you swang yeah. a moment too soon, so you just nicked off a bit of the leather. Dang, so it's it probably t- 10. Okay, and then so I have another attack, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try and hit number three again with the long sword. Yeah. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A 12 to hit? A 12 is a miss. 12 is a miss? Oh, my. Yeah, this time, like, um, she sees it coming, so she just deflects it with her own sword. And she says to you in um, <laughs> Elvish something... Do you speak Elvish? Something. Um, let's find out. No, gnomish, dwarvish. Yeah, gnom- gnomish and dwarvish. Dwarven. Dwar- dwarvish is what it says here. Dwarvish. Okay. So it's something dwarvish. that you're able to assume is most likely a dialect of Elvish. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going to I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you can make that deduction. Be like, huh, jokes on you. I don't even speak giant. Like, I don't even, <laughs> say something like stupid like that. Jokes on you. I don't even speak something. I don't know. So that was a waste of time for me. I apologize. Anyway. I was so pumped because when I originally rolled for my longbow before I knew that there was a torch, I got a 14, which would have been a 20 to hit. Oh! The spider moved. Now the spider's moving. By the way, my raven is not right there. Then where is your raven? It'd likely be on my shoulder. Fine. (laughs) He said fine. (laughs) To which I can see in the dark. I have dark vision. You do? Yeah, my raven. Oh, right. Well, yes, yes. While your raven is perched on your shoulder, you have dark vision. And it did not leave his side since. So, we can all see each other, or at least at least me. I can see every one of these three people in front of me, but not yes. the, but not number two, or the so, spider. Right. There's some. Okay, so first, there's some faint um, illumination in the cave. At a closer look, it seems to be coming from bioluminescent mushrooms. Okay. So that gives you a general idea of where everyone is. But that torch, it's still magically burning. So you're able to get a better look at the um, people closest to you. Okay. And I can, uh, excuse me, sorry. I cannot see number two or the spider, right? I mean, the spider's behind you. But if you were to look at him, you'd get like, you'd be able to see at least the outline like of him. You get the general right, idea yeah. of where he is. All right. And same thing with number two? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, and um, <laughs> now uh, got, got a got a hypothetical question. Does Uh-oh. an eighteen beat Gordon Flay's armor class? Dang! And I have a shield. Yes, it does. My AC with the shield is sixteen. So you don't. I guess you're facing the wrong way. So you don't see this happen. Next thing you know, you're suddenly restrained by webbing. By webbing. That yep. Freaking. Jagweed, I knew I should have killed him when I seen him. Just light him on fire. 
Wait, I thought. Oh, th- no, don't worry about it. It's a, it's a hypothetical. You said it is hypothetical, so don't worry about it. Well, well now it's a reality. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Dang, man. I even pulled out that. that uh, my. My shield because I thought I would need it just in case that little bump, but 18. Dang, man. That's a fun. I no longer equal anything. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure what symbol to use for <laughs> webbing, so we're just gonna go for that. No, that's you do... that, that works. What? You just copy and paste an image of a web and put it on top. Anyway, or you just put www. www.gordon.com <laughs> You know, <laughs> World Wide Web. <laughs> Anyway, while Fitch is making puns at his um, teammate's expense, it's now his turn. <laughs> All right, I assume let's he makes the up. pun action. The punch action. Ah, uh, I shut up. Okay. <laughs> if only Andreas was here. <laughs> Where's my dice? Dice, I mean, I where are dice. you? I can roll for it. What do you want to do? No, I don't want you to roll for me because I just got a 19 natural. Oh! For what? For, what? Uh, for punching. Okay, which one? Gordon? <laughs> no, well, no, why would I want to punch Gordon? Because yeah, he's restrained, you I have an advantage. I, can... <laughs> I think I'd advantage. be punching number one. Okay. Roll damage. Hold up. Wait a second. I remember something. Don't I roll two dice or one? I thought it'd be double damage if it was crit and two dice normally. No, it's just one d8 normally. Want to say? Or D6. I'm a level six monk. Then it should be one D6. Plus dexterity. You should sure it's not a one D eight. Yes. It doesn't become a D eight until later. Was it be uh was it a one D four before? Yes. How's a nice fat 10? 10. 10 damage? Yeah. On a D8, damn. D6. Uh, oh, D- on so a D6. Yeah, you, you punch into this guy, like you feel several of his ribs breaking, but he's still standing up. And he just Man, starts oh aggressively saying something at you in Elvish. You know what? Just for that, I'm ro- rolling to punch him again. No, 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 the first time. Huh? Wait, you weren't gonna do that before he was rude to you? <laughs> well, I, I was just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they don't know. Uh, that was a natural fourteen plus. That uh, hits. Okay, cool. cool. Oh, okay. It's a eight damage. I slap him instead of punching him. <laughs> okay, you slap him so hard that it breaks his neck. Jeez. <laughs> but now, as hit, so yeah, so you break this guy's neck and it causes like tears to start opening up across his skin bursting out this like acidy substance so i'm gonna need you and gordon to make a constitution saving throw i'm bound by webs how can i am i at disadvantage no no it's just normal i'm i'm in webs yeah it's fine well i appreciate that a nice 16 how's that um and that's a that's a dexterity Constitution. Constitution. Oh, Constitution. Oh, I got yes. an eleven. If oh, yeah, it was but... next thirty, then you would probably have disadvantage. Got... Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I got an eleven. Okay. Wait, what's your con con uh, mod? Constitution mod. Zero. Zero? I thought you'd have a better one. Nah. So, zero. Man, minus one. And then my wisdom is plus three. So you both take five acid damage. My strength is plus three. 
What? Can you guys Did get you the want police more? In the no, I wanted less. Wait, you said five. Oh, and um, Gordon, this doesn't give you any material benefit, but you do notice that some of the webs seem to be dissolving with the with the, with the acid. acid. So that gives you ideas that okay. there are definitely ways to dissolve this. Okay. Um, okay. I got one more punch, by the way. Oh, because I plan on flurry of blur blowing. Oh, actually, then, you know what? Question: Can I push bet this guy in diagonally or no? Um, number three. Yes. Dang it! Boom. I'm trying to say, get on top of number four's body and then just shove three into the pit. Yeah, that one. Kind of. Whoa! Like... Oh, I almost forgot about something. What? <laughs> There's like a boss, <laughs> like right behind him. Oh no! Yeah, I'm in between no, no. four it's people. Nefarious. It's just that. <laughs> At the end of the last chamber, Gordon dropped a body of one of the guards down the pipe. So I just remember oh that God. definitely fell down with you. <laughs> okay, I remember now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I threw him down first because I was. <laughs> what? As soon as you oh, dropped him down, on. you heard a doop doop doop. Oh wait what? wait wait! Come on, Drew. I think that the spider would have definitely attacked that dead body first. What? I think that spider would have tried to like wrap up that wrap dead body over three up. Hey, you don't know what the spider's boy. intentions are. Ah. Anyway, right. I said you want to punch the. No, 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 no that wouldn't work. Especially since you're flurry blowing uh -huh. right now, which means that you get two, you know, unarmed attacks. It's not like the normal attack action. Right. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> that was a 14 plus whatever. That hits. Five damage. So after getting... So I'm just gonna say it was all one fluid motion. You slap a guy so hard that you break his neck. While you're rotating, you take acid damage and you turn your hand into a karate chop right at this woman's uh, throat. This is oh, a woman? Sick. Yeah, sick. Oh. So that was five damage, you said? Yeah, five. And then the okay, next nice. attack is 12 natural, so plus whatever. Seven? Plus seven? Yeah, he has oh, plus seven to hit. Jeez. Nine plus six. I thought that was high. So. Um, 12 plus seven, 19, 19. that hits. Awesome. Oh boy, I like all the damage I'm dealing. Six. <laughs> and then once you've uh, karate chopped her neck, you just squeeze into it, just pulsating her with, um, you know, just forceful energy, just starting to choke her a bit. It doesn't kill her, but <laughs> she's nearing dead. Oh. Okay. And you seem to have caused, um, severe damage to the uh, throat. Uh, so she's in a wolf right now. And she did not seem to like that one bit. I hope not. <laughs> if she would have enjoyed it, that would have been very interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, uh, this show isn't rated for that. <laughs> this has a rating? Maybe oh, I should be a bard next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change that rating real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and she just raises her sword and tries to bring it down on you. She tries to? But no, it's unfortunately. Allegedly. Unfortunately. No, allegedly is better than unfortunately missing. And number two is going to <laughs> shoot at Gordon. Ah, uh, why Gordon? Why can't it be me? I'm bound. As I can't do a dexterity check or anything. Dang it. Can I cat... Um, 
Yeah, I can't. Can I? Send your bird in front of it. I'm just kidding. No, I. That's the only way I can see in this dark. Yeah. If I if I did that, then this I we'd be in trouble. Okay. Does a fourteen beat your um? Okay. Armor am class? I, so okay. Quick question. Uh, one, I'm I pulled out my shield. Yes. But I'm bound by web, so am I still actively using the shield? Um, and does the walk so act like a shield as well? Yeah, so basically, you're kind of shield. restrained from like the torso, or not not the torso, the um, the hips down effectively. So you can still make attacks; they'll just be with disadvantage. And I'll say that you can still be moving around your shield, so that'll apply to your armor class. Okay, yeah. So my armor class is a fourteen plus two when I'm wielding the shield. Okay. So, quick question: If you tie a AC, does it hit or no? Yeah, if it meets, it beats. If it meets, it be oh yeah. So that okay. hits. So, so no, no. Um, I'm holding the shield, so no, it doesn't hit. Well, wait, wait, wait. What's your armor class for the shield? With the shield, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Okay, okay. Now, yeah. I was actually confused for a moment that it was sixteen. That was fourteen with a shield. That that didn't sound no. right. No, 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 yeah, fourteen without sixteen with. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. So, so who- yeah, you just deflect this bolt with you catch it in your shield, just like haha. I can still do that's, this. <laughs> that's sick. That is sick. Oh, okay, yeah, because the acid kind of like... Okay, yeah. Okay, respect. All right, so now it's... I think it's my turn then, right? Um, yeah. I'll... The the non-dead drows went, so now it's Gordon's turn. Okay, so I see the, um... How the acid kind of, def- like, got rid of all of the, um... The web on the top of my body. So yes. I jump with my legs and a pool of blood on one of the dead beings on like on the ground by where the dead beings are. So my um, legs. So your hit. movement speed is currently zero. You can't really move around at all. Oh, so, but if I fall, like yeah. I can fall down though. Right. I mean, you can I... still land prone, but that doesn't really help your situation. What do you mean? Lay down and roll. I can't lay down and roll. <laughs> am I paralyzed or am I bound? I mean, at least part of the web is sticking to the ground. So. Okay. So. Then I have, oh, I have like literally nothing. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'll pro, I'll pro, a uh, poison spray. Um, how far does the poison spray go? Um, it's good. I think it's a 30 foot distance, but. It's a foot distance. It might be smaller than that. I'll double check. Oh, if if I can poison spray that spider. Oh no, it's ten feet. It's ten feet. It's ten feet. Okay, then yeah. Um. So I'm still holding the long sword. I'm going to. And wait, so is a cantrip an action or no? Using like using poison spray. That's a that's an action. Yes, right? casting your okay. spell would be your full action. Okay, then I'll just swing at what's his face number three with my sword. Kind of like would I be at disadvantage? Yes. Okay. Okay, come on. Well, does a 10 hit? A 10 is a miss, unfortunately. Yeah, yep. For, oh, you got to be kidding me. First roll was a 4, second roll was a 19. <laughs> yeah, so... I hate this. I'm just going to say that um, when she missed hitting Thitch with her sword, she was still just able to, by chance, deflect your play that was coming at her. Okay, fine. Well, I get. I'll swing again at her, right? Because I got two. Wasn't that already two? No, uh, swing, and that was it. I haven't done anything yet. Sounded like you got a ten for the first attack, and then a four for the next one. No, 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 no. So I got a four. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I got a four plus my attack modification, my attack modifier. Which is a total of ten. Okay. So okay. it was a total of sense. ten, and then that was with my disadvantage. So that was was going to be the one, one. And then when I rolled again for fun for my second attack, it was a nineteen, which is now okay, nothing yeah, because okay. of the order. Okay. But so now you do have your apologize. full second attack. That's fine. Now I have my full second attack at disadvantage. <laughs> yes. Okay. Unless you want to find a way to break out of the lens. Oh, uh, that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I definitely did not just roll a three by accident. Okay, so I'm gonna try and like cut where my feet are. Okay, yeah. Um, 
In that case, just make a normal attack roll, not with a disadvantage. Thank you. Of course, that, okay, that one plus the modifier is, a, is 19. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and, uh, I guess, roll damage. On, on the web? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so it's a d10. So wait, if I'm if I'm wielding this long sword with one hand, do I do less damage? Um, it'll be one d8 plus your strength instead of one d10 plus my strength. Okay, good. Yes. So d8, okay, plus my strength, which is plus three. Um, seven to ten damage. Sure. Yeah, that, that that's enough. You just have to slice clean through it. I, I feel great. like. There probably should be some complications of using a sword to cut through your own webbing, but honestly, you're a seventh level fighter. You probably know what you're doing well enough to get this done, especially with uh, that high of a roll. Wait, am I a, am I a fighter? Yeah, you're an Eldritch Knight fighter. Oh, I I didn't know that they had spells. I didn't even know that they had spells. Yeah, you're a subclass of fighter that gives you spells. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, so okay, perfect. But that was your turn, though. Yeah. Now this yeah. damn spider is gonna like blow my, try to eat my head. Yeah, I actually just kind of love the image of that. You're you're just like struggling, all bound up, and you're just like, "What am I doing?" <laughs> Gordon Flay will not be beat by webs. Okay. Uh, what about by spiders? You said oh, that. <laughs> Probably not gonna... Oh, gosh. <laughs> this gosh. spider just casually saunters forward. Oh, yes. Very menacingly. Now we gotta get you out of that. <laughs> okay. He's just sitting there. Menacing. <laughs> Does a 15 be... I still have my shield, so no. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. And it was a 16 to hit. It was a 16 to, to hit, so. Oh my goodness, that was so close. That was almost terrible. So yeah, this spider just saunters over, tries to bite you, but can't do it. Bam! See, th- this is this is where facing mechanics probably should come in, because you're turned around from him, so maybe a shield shouldn't count, but I'm not going to get overly technical. I could, I could, maybe, okay, he was on his way to bite me, and then I heard him, and I turned around. Yeah. Like, and he was about <laughs> okay, to that's your turn. Finally, I can kill stuff. Yeah, kill number three, please, because he's going to kill me, and then kill the snake. Or the, the spider. Question, how the big is the spider? Well, look at it. Um, several times the size of Thitch. Okay, okay. So, so huge? Question: How tough are teeth fang- uh, are spider fangs? Let it bite you and find out. <laughs> no, I'm saying how thick are they? Fucking <laughs> find out. <laughs> Pardon me. I don't know. They're probably like the size of daggers, to be honest. Could I catch and break them off? Um, and d- d- let's worry about loot after you win the fight. No, I'm saying, <laughs> can I catch in the middle of an action and break them off? You know, like. <laughs> Not normally how things work, and besides, there, there's a, there's a very beefy twelve year old in your way. True. All right, death I, to number three. three. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Flick him, flick him, and then he's gonna <laughs> die. Come on. She. How's a? Uh, what's a nine plus seven? Sixteen. A 16 is a hit. Nice. Yeah. I roll with a 5 plus 4. <laughs> okay. So this time, I'm just going to say that, um, you know, you, you, you were like a start. Yeah. So first you karate chopped her neck, then you started choking her, and you realized, wait, this isn't my style. So you just give her a good uppercut. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And as she collapses to the ground from her wound, starts to shoot out in all directions this acid spray. Come on. Hey, not funny. Bro, this is a good time. 
Yeah, baby. It's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How do I deal with this acid? Um, well, what, what did Gordon get? <laughs> Oh, I forgot the roll. <laughs> Sorry. Did you watch him get a nat one? Like, he intercepted all of the chiz acid? Oh, oh, gosh. So, wait, it's, a, it's a plus your dexterity or constitution? Plus con. Uh, ten. So, with a ten total, you are only going to take five acid damage. And you know what? Okay. Since Finch has just been nailing these guys like a champ, he, he, sh- he doesn't take any of this time. Hey. Okay. Question. So... Okay. Uh, I can move to number two, right? Um, yeah, that's within range. One, two, one. I tell. If you would... oh, I tell uh, Flay. Uh, let's get away from the spider as much as we can. Let's beat these drow and then face the spider. He moves before me. Wait, no, he doesn't. Uh, try using the body's acid. If you can throw the bodies at the spider. Oh, see what that's a good idea. <laughs> and with that, I sprint over to number two. Okay. I'm guessing your raven's coming with? Yes. And I decide to throw him to the side. Judo throw. You know what to do. You're, you're done with acid damage. You don't want any yeah. more of that. It's what's my modifier? Um, this should be athletic space or acrobatics, I think. Acro- Acrobatics. Yeah. Acrobatics is a plus seven, so <laughs> twenty-one total. Okay, so you basically start going to this guy, and you try to like go underneath him, try to throw him off balance. But just as you think you're about to tee him off the edge, he's able to regain his position and hold for- firm. No. I will do it again. Can I okay. do it? I mean, it's an attack, so you get two attacks per round. Well, luckily for me, this is 17 plus uh, 7, so it's a 24. <laughs> Some say oh, he's no. still falling. <laughs> so wait, is there is there no, the webs don't catch him? Seems to fall past all the webs. Wow. Wait, okay. All right. So it's my turn next, right? Yep. All right. I look at the no, spider and no, I... No oh, more wait. of this acid damage trickery. Okay. So... Ooh, what about all that dank loot you just lost? Did it look like I care? <laughs> because it's okay. probably covered in acid anyways. <laughs> so, so, um, Fitch, Fitch is getting over his acid damage while I, uh, I'm going to embrace it. I pick, I drop my sword and my shield and pick up one of the dudes who is bleeding profusively and throw it at the spider. Okay. To try and get the acid on him. So I think I would, that means I would have to do an attack roll, a strength check, and then a um, if I'm not correct, a constitution saving throw. <laughs> or... Okay, um, let, let me think this for a moment. Where did my d20 go? So, so here's the thing. Elves in general are particularly tall. Yeah. So um, this woman's probably, let, let, let's say, around six feet. Right. And, and let, let, let's, let's just go on the lighter end and say that she's 140 pounds. That's slightly beneath the healthy weight for a six-foot tall woman, but I think yeah. Well, yes, you're okay. strong, but can you really be heating around full-grown adults as improvised weapons? Well, no. So what I do is I don't I don't go like this. I kind of like and like all together, not like pick up, point, load, and then throw. Just kind of like swinger. 
Even still, I don't think this would make a great weapon. Well, I mean, I'm just trying to test this. Okay, oh, how about this? Okay, how about this? I mean, don't get me I wrong, I love the idea. Look at, okay, check it. Look, I get my sword, and I stick it into the person, into the dead elf, and get it covered in that acid. And then I draw it with the acid on there, and okay. try to attack this, and try to attack this, this net, this Go fire. for it. Let's go! Okay, so... I'm telling you, this is going to damage your weapon a little bit, but it's going to do extra acid damage if it hits, so... Let's do it. Please don't. Let's go! That's a 21 to hit! Let's go! Come on! That hits. Let's go! <sighs> okay, I, I look at it, and I say... This is going to bite. And then I... <laughs> stab him. Or slash him, or... Okay, so... The way you described, did you drop your shield to do this? Okay, no. So, I, I said I dropped my shield on my sword to pick up the person. Well, mostly but because since if I couldn't you do, do that, it'll make this attack slightly more, or have the potential to do more power. If you just, oh, it, yeah, would it would also be the cooler would, aesthetic if you just like two handed drove your okay. sword into this person and just. Yeah. yeah. Is it, it would be a D10 instead of a D8, right? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, I'll, I'll drop the sword. I mean, I'll drop, drop the sword. <laughs> drop the shield and full on. This is gonna like bite. Or something. Right, okay, here we go. So okay, roll me plus... one d10 and then let's say an extra d4 for the acid damage. Okay, and then that's plus three from uh, plus my attack modifier. Yeah, plus strength. Plus strength. Oh my bad, strength. That's a. That's a. Okay, it's a six. And then I said d4. Plus three. Plus three, so twelve damage. So yeah. With a twelve damage, you bring your sword into this and you just cleave through like you, you don't kill it outright, but you actually are just um chop off one of its legs. Okay. And now it's like starting to bleed out or, or it's not blood, it's team of blood, but I suppose in spiders, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit nasty. Is it hemoglobin? Now you like cause like some internal damage. Isn't it? Okay. Isn't hemoglobin just blood though? Just with it's, extra it's steps. A, it's a special with type of blood. Steps. <laughs> hemoglobin blood with extra steps. And okay. you do have an extra attack if you want to do this again. And I'm doing it again because this is badass. No shield. We're going. Uh, I, I'm gonna let you know if if you roll high enough, you might finish this thing off in in one round. Oh, okay, boy. so that is a 14 to hit. That just hits. Let go! Oh my oh, god, okay. dude. So it's a, D, it's a D10 plus a D4 plus, plus 3. That's a 10 on the D10. Oh boy, and oh boy. So that's a 14 damage. You got exactly 14 damage. Let's go! To clarify, you got exactly four. Let's go. So, I do this. Do I you, do this? You dive. You drive this sword straight through this woman's like torso, like past her um neck, all the way down to her stomach. Rip it out, splice into this spider's leg, and then once you see that opening, you just go in through it and just cleave a giant. A rift, just making all of its innards just start to spill out in this oozy, disgusting mess. Oh my god. Go! Let's go! And as I... you pull out your sword to look at it, you actually realize that you just severely warped the blade, but it was probably worth it. Dude, it's so worth it. I look at it and I throw it down at the spider. Say, I'm done with this. Actually, I take that back. I, I, I cut out one of its teeth and then I throw the sword. I throw the sword on it. Now I'm done with it. <laughs> now I'm done with this. <laughs> that was so sick, bro. Let's go. I need a 14 and I got it. You got a 10 on a D10, a nat 10, and then a 1 on the D4 and plus 3. Oh. And once you do that, another pipe appears. But you guys want to start looting? Yes. Yes. Okay, I go back and grab the body from the first people, number 3. Yes. And... I'm gonna go bring that and throw it into the pipe. <laughs> so you're, you're just gonna keep throwing this guy from floor to floor? Yes. Well, okay, you know, I'll do that last. I'll, I'll check the bodies for cool stuff. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and um, by the way, the, these Rao, they do have um, short swords if you want to grab one as a replacement. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, short sword or long sword? Um, it's, it's a, um, yeah, it's a short sword. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. It'll, so it'll, 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 short sword. it'll do for now. Oh, wait, the one guy had a crossbow, right? Yes. Ditch, do you have the bag of holding? I do. I do. Can I can I can I ask you if you can hold that sure. in there? Let's go. Does it fit? Yeah, uh, I think it fits. It should fit. Can can you, can can crossbows, it fit, yeah, like, everything? Fit can it fit everything in there or is there certain things that doesn't fit? It needs to fit in within the whole the entrance. Oh there. within the hole. Gotcha. Okay. Which reminds me, how like how big is it? As long as it I can carry it. So I think right? it's a five foot hole. Five foot hole? Or like it can stretch to five feet. I'll, I will double check that. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, no, no. What am I saying? Five, five feet. That that's a, that's an entire square of a battle map. That doesn't. I was going right. to say that is bigger than a two ten, feet. Two feet in that. <laughs> okay. That's, okay. My poor so, zombies. Okay. Um. So this armor would probably be pretty useless to you guys. It was made for like. You know, elf adults, and it yeah, was pretty banged up in battle. So. But there's the crossbows and the swords if you want them, or if you I'll really do just swords. want like miscellaneous armor to resell later. Sure. Do they have any jewelry or anything that like could be magical? Any necklaces? Or, like, any, yeah. Uh, any, go ahead any... and uh, roll loot dice. That'll be the percentile. What's a uh, what's a loot dice? Uh, that that'll be the D100. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Five hundred. Five hundred. Wait, wait, wait. What's double zero? Oh, well, what exactly did you get? A five a and a double zero. That should be a five total. That's a five zero. So with a so five fifty, or is it forty? Six. <laughs> yeah, with that, you know, you're not able to find too wait, much wait, 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 of. Wait. Um, of right, specialty ahead. value on it. Um, except one uh, drow seems to have um, carved something in like a bone. Seems uh -huh. to be some type okay. of elven writing that you can't quite decipher. Quick question. So like this has one zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, and then nine zero. So zero zero is zero. Yes. Okay. But if you get um, zero zero on that one, and then a zero on the D ten. Then that's a um that that's one hundred. One thousand. You that's want one hundred that? or one thousand? One hundred. The scale goes from one to one hundred, rather uh, than zero to ninety nine. So then, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, this is this is tens, and then this is the ones. I thought this yes. was okay. I thought it was. This is the one hundreds, and then this is the tens. Okay. How's the yeah, seventy nine? Admittedly, it's it's a bit weird. Gotcha. Okay. No. Yeah. The, the, the percentile die is probably the one that takes the most getting used to because it's two separate dice that you need to articulate digits for. Yeah, seventy nine. Okay, sorry about that. You got seventy nine. Okay. Uh, and Fitch, what were you looking for? I, I said, uh, well, I doubt i have any they have anything that can i can, I can make it to alcohol but or even if they have alcohol. <laughs> yeah i mean gordon he was looking for valuables so rolling again wouldn't like manifest any okay i'm looking for well is alcohol valuable well it depends on what you think is valuable right and i, I, I doubt it's... you want to make like some cannibalistic alcohol out of people's bodies that would be pretty sick. You could make your own. Uh... Can you even derive alcohol from meat? We can so. try. We can always try. Can always. Uh, but either way, I, I'm gonna get the I'll spider fangs and spider eyes. Okay. Yes. That. Okay. Yes. That. That would actually have a lot of value in looting. Oh, kind of like in Minecraft, spider eyes. Yes. That's actually so yeah, with what a I seventy. Really nut. Okay. So. Um, because of the super awesome way that Gordon killed it, there's probably not much in the way of intact internal organs, but yeah. yeah, I'll say that with that, you're able to harvest one eye and um, three fangs. Question. One Wait, eye has... out of... It has four. It has eight. Don't it spiders eight have eye. eight? Yeah. 
legs. I think no, they have wait, eyes. they have eight le- eight legs and yeah, they have eight eyes and then four. No, they have four eyes. I think four eyes and eight legs. Hey Google, how many eyes does a spider have? <laughs> Google's reading the entire Wikipedia. Okay, document. so to clarify, <laughs> that's three fangs and two eyes. Can I get not, Can I not get a spider gland? A spider gland? Yeah. Like just one of its random glands. It has no many glands. the gland like the that makes gland. produces the web. Yes, dude. I want to become Spider Man. Um. <laughs> okay. So have we stumped him? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and make um. I guess a nature check to just harvest some web. Gordon, do you know about nature more than I do? Let me check first. I have a nature as no. Interesting. I'm not I proficient, wonder why. but I'm a plus one mm. for bonus. So I nature, out the nature no, is intelligence. In that case, that since you're already over there, just go ahead and roll it. Yeah, sure. I was say, if nature is intelligence, then I have a negative one modifier. Hey, so. <laughs> Eighteen plus one. Nineteen total. Yeah. In that case, I'm gonna say that you get um ten feet of silk rope. Yeah. What? Hey, Drew. Quick question, just in general: Is your attack modifier, your dexterity, and strength modifier put together? Um, no. It's strength or dex, depending on the weapon. Your attack modifier. So, like, so, like, what you add on to to hit. I wonder, is there anything that uh, adds their charisma to their attack modifier? Um, yes, there is one custom magical item known as the Sword of the Smiley Face that probably still exists somewhere in this world. Wow. Okay. I would really like that. Okay, yeah, I was just wondering how you get your attack modifier. But, yeah, to to get to your question, so basically your attack mod, it's going to depend on the weapon, but for most of yours, it's going to be... When you you roll a d20, add your proficiency bonus and your strength modifier. Your proficiency bonus. Okay. Yes. And where do you see your proficiency bonus again? So that's tied to your overall character level. And at your mm-hmm. level, it should be... Uh, plus oh. Three. Plus three, yeah. Okay. So, and so... Okay. Yeah, do you guys want to get anything else, or are you ready to descend to the next floor? Drow. I What's throw... on the drow? Okay. I investigate stuff on the ground. Like, I'm probably like items that they normally carry. If not, uh, is drow blood just poison? Uh, that poison? No, what is it? Acid? Is it just acid? Um, make a history check to determine if uh, drows normally have acid blood. Well, that that's a two. In that well, case, he was. In that okay. case, you I don't asked. Really uh, have right any right here, Training on um, drows, or you, you haven't really read many stories about them. You don't really know much about that. Either way, I guess I'll just take an empty vial that I have on me and fill it with the acid stuff. Do, do you have an acid-proof stopper? Oh. oh. Should we have? I think we, I have a uh, one from the water temple. No. No. Those are too big. Never mind. Yeah, you didn't carry those canisters with you, and none of them had lids. Yeah. Dang it. Dang. Anyway. All right. I, and, I throw the dead body from okay. the and, first um, tower. Okay. So you guys... So the loot that you guys are taking are what Ditch got from the spider, and then that carved bone that... Uh, the, the A short sword, and then the carved bone that Gordon found? Yeah. Unless there's okay. anything else that the DM wants to hint to. I mean, I just want to ca- clarify the loot just so that we're sure moving forward. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're all sneaking yeah. the dead body. Oh, wait, so okay, yeah. I, I actually can't like that that's just going to be like a running gag for this entire dungeon. You just throw him floor to floor. So I, I, I actually conversed with Fitch really quick. I was like, hey, do we want to keep that body, the one from the first round, or just keep on throwing the new ones in there from like, what the if next level? You want to take the time and just throw them all down? <laughs> Dude, you want to throw the spider down? Yeah. Okay, the spider does not look like it will fit. Damn. Let's break it apart. 
Let's break it apart. Piece by piece. (laughs) You know what? I actually kind of love this. In movies, whenever people are moving, like, you know, from one dangerous area to another, they never think to bring dead bodies with them, even though they would always help. (laughs) Like, seriously, I I don't know if you guys watch the Saw movies, but, like, whenever you do, just think, a dead body would definitely help with most of these challenges. Actually. Actually, yeah, just to throw it in there, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is amazing. So we cut off every single leg. And then chop his body up into. into so, four oh yeah, let's let's talk about. Okay, so first we pick up draw number one, making sure we don't touch any of the acid stuff. Mm-hmm. Drop it down the pipe. We go to number four, drag him down, drop him down. Drop the pipe. him down the pipe. Number, number two. One. Oh no 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 number, not number two. Number two's off. He, he fell oh, down. Number three. Number three, drag him down, drop him down the pipe. Number two. One, we would drop yeah. him down the pipe. Yeah. And then the spider, we... we're going to work together on dragging that over into the pipe. Uh, dra- using one of the blades. I think the blade's still in it. Uh, we're going to cut it into pieces. Um, and then um, just do, drop do you it care how good of a hack job you do on the spider? As long yeah. as it fits. As long as it fits. Yeah. yeah as long in as in fits. that case, I won't make you roll for it. You just like, um, usually able to spend like, let, let's say this whole operation takes 10 minutes. This cleanup <laughs> job. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so that 10 minutes... It just streaks kinda... the blood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is this is, this is is some psychotic stuff, and I'm all for it. <laughs> Imagine being there and just watching four bodies... Dead bodies. Dead bodies of your comrades just laying in front of you. And, and then, then pieces a of a spider. spider. Just, and, then, and then two people who are about the same height <laughs> walk in, one of them with a raven. Oh, my God. Like a buff 12-year-old and a monk. You know, by the end of this dungeon, we're just gonna work to put all the bodies down the pipe. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be like, hey, we need this. We need this boat. Uh, it just piles up to just meets the pipe at the bottom. It's, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, does this so how's your D&D game going? Oh, it's great. My players keep looting bodies. Oh, you mean that they're getting the treasure on the bodies? No, they're looting the bodies themselves. That's the treasure now. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we, we leave the, 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 the Oh, armor I go to investigate like where the spider was from. There. <laughs> What's up? I'm, I don't know if I don't know if we saw anything from where the spider originally was. Oh, yeah. Um, just seems to be a closed off part of the cave system. Okay. Okay. All right. I pick up the torch before we go in there. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. On to the next. I'm sure that one won't take an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> After the first one. Okay. Just, 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 just give me a moment to. <laughs> to drop all these other <laughs> in, in, by, the end, you, <laughs> by the end you're just gonna be like eh, just make a giant mount you're gonna make a mountain <laughs> icon <laughs> the, my mountain icon that has all the lists of uh think bodies and dead stuff in it <laughs> okay You guys are falling, and this time, you're no longer, it no longer seems like you're underground or in a cave. You're now in an open, grassy field, and you can see the sun. Oh boy. And surrounding you seem to be, um, bushes. Dead bushes. Made of twigs. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Dead. They're dead. Well, dead. You know, they seem to be made out of twigs and everything. Drew, don't make dead bushes come to life. Okay. Don't make me fear all types of bushes, Drew. Don't make me fear all types of bushes. Okay, so... Let's see here. Dead bushes? And an open did you put it in? Yeah. You just... Well, I might, I might be exaggerating on the word dead. I mean, 
They, they, they seem to be like, you know, there seems Dry. to be a bit of greenery in them, but they're mostly twigs. So not really taken care of, not well managed. Oh, no. Hey, where's body number four? You're missing a body, Drew. <laughs> Give him a minute, dude. <laughs> he's got he's got to move four bodies in a spider. <laughs> um, so we drop in before the bodies, right? And are you gonna screen share um on the meeting? Oh yeah, just do that. yeah. It's actually okay. better if you do that. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better too. Yeah, dude, I've been getting I've been playing Minecraft a lot lately. Oh. I really like it. I really like it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, the shrubberies. Oh, boy. Oh, they're... Okay. Well, it's time to light them on fire. Do you have anything that has fire? I don't... I actually, hold on. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, but it doesn't really hurt. I was going to say I'm going to dip one of my arrows into the torch, get it on fire and then shoot it, but I don't think that it would work because that fire is... What is it? What is it? What is it? What not is it? hurting anybody. I am... Notes. I, I forgot to add the spider stuff. Spitter. Eye. Two... Three eyes? We got two eyes. Yes. Two eyes. Anyway. Two eyes and three fangs. <laughs> two eyes and three fangs. No, oh, Drew, this is gonna look... This is gonna be annoying, isn't it? Okay. And how long? 12 feet of silk, silk rope? Nice. Oh he's, god. He's rolling a lot. Question. Um, and once you land, those trees in the back seem to uh, start moving a little bit. Towards towards or away? Oh, uh, not, not not in any particular direction. They just seem to start moving, just in general. Like the tree, like the tree in a um, Smash Bros. in that one uh, battlefield arena. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, maybe they don't have a maybe they don't blow wind at you or throw apples. You don't know. <laughs> oh, thank God! Throw apples. I like the throwing apples. One. So, I um. So, do the shrubs things that are numbered, which I assume are the sticks, the bundle of sticks, um, do they look like they have a face or a body or a ligament? Well, now that you're taking a closer look, uh, yes, yes, they seem to be um eyeing at you with uh, twig-like eyes. <laughs> and do you guys want to like keep the same initiative as last time? No. I mean, I like no. mine, but sure, no. we'll try again. Yeah, go ahead and re-roll. Okay. Um, I, okay. Wait, before we re before we roll, I ask number one, because that's the one I write down. I'm like, can you see me? And it kind of um starts, like, moving a lot more visibly when you say that. I'm like, okay. I say, um, hey, you, you want to be friends? And like, as it moves, like you hear like the creaking of branches. I, I don't like know a, how to do a bush impression. A, you mean a creak? <laughs> that sounded like a creaking door to me. It'd be like. Hey, don't don't bang the man, dude. He doesn't know how to make a bush sound. But right? anyway, you make the bush sound. <laughs> okay. So I rolled a natural eighteen. So plus what? Seven? Plus four? No, plus plus no, your, your dexterity. My what mod? Just your dex mod. Oh, so just a plus four. <laughs> 22. And what Gordon get? I got a uh, 13. So, and I got I, an actual 13. I, I rolled a 10, but with my modifier, it's 13. Mm. Oh, well, Pitch is going to go first. Obviously. And these bushes seem to be eyeing him. 
Why they don't me? Seem to like him. Yeah, I don't like them either. Yeah, word gets around in the Bush community <laughs> pretty quickly, apparently. <laughs> Somehow. Yes, e- um, even if you're in like some weird pocket dimension of um. <laughs> beware, Thitch the Bush Destroyer. Yeah, well, you did specifically somebody to receive you shrubbery. So maybe they are saying, oh, we know what you did. We know what you did. Or want. maybe this is the universe giving you your shrubbery. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Anyways. Oh, wow. Nice. Respect. Question. What would, I, what would happen if I just yanked them out of the ground? You can try that. I think... Uh, okay, never mind. I'll wait to say it. It's not my turn. Sure. Let's... Um... Start with number two, I guess. Fitch crawls over a dead body. <laughs> okay, that'll be difficult terrain. Uh, oh. well, maybe not. Uh. It's one square. What difference does it make? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, can I? I'm gonna try. Just I should I punch it or should I just? Like judo, throw it out of the ground. Um, I would you suggest. Try to show? Nah, I'm suggest gonna punch it. it first. I'm gonna punch. Okay. It punch a stick. Yeah, go punch. Punch it, bush. Bush. How's a... <laughs> Is ten plus seven? Okay. So with you know, you're punching through this bush and you get straight to the stem and just you just send vibrations through it, causing all to crumble into sticks. Okay, question. Yeah. Are the sticks alive? They don't seem to be. Should I snap the sticks as well? It's your character. Yeah, jump, jump up and down aggressively on a pile of sticks. Can I walk over the sticks as I pass by them? That's fine. As I approach number four, I want to destroy the sticks with my feet. Okay, you know you got issues. Man. <laughs> Why are you so distracted? <laughs> Double tap. Roll number yeah, one. That's like, yeah, that's like. Uh, number four gets the punch as well. That is a sixteen. Sixteen hits, and you know it's it's, it's a similar story. You know, you just it just seems like you're barely touching on them, and they're falling apart. This is not right. Something's off. Well, I'm sure that those big trees in the back are going to be very difficult. Or more difficult. There's, hey, do you have an there's... axe? Okay. Save your axe for the trees. Actually, can I borrow an axe? Uh, I can throw you one on my turn. Throw, yeah, sure. Throw it yeah, near the throw tree an axe so that I can pick it up. I like that. Hey, that's catch. <laughs> Anyway, well, I throw it. Fish. That's your turn. So yeah, uh, so that means uh, no. I walk towards number six. Okay. Oh no, I I destroyed four already, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you destroyed four already. Towards number six. Yeah, no, here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you just punch this. So yes, yeah, so this time you just karate chop and splitting straight through a center. Balls apart. <laughs> okay, how much for? Well, 
Well, you're out of attacks. Yeah, all oh, right. I All right, I guess I can I wait defensively just in case I'm eyeing tree number 2. Yeah, if you want you can just wait there. And I, I can't move anywhere else. I mean, you can. It's let's say now you I want to walk back onto the what is that gravel? Um, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, you don't have enough movement speed to get back to the road. I have forty. Yeah, remember walking over the body was difficult terrain. The... Wow, it's not okay. Fine, fine. Uh, how, by how much? <laughs> And you also stipulated specifically that you wanted to walk on the branches, so. Wow. I didn't know that that tick out from my uh, distance. Oh, well. I look at my surroundings patiently, and You're I prepared... Anyway. Uh, oh, anyway, what? Drew, this isn't safe for me. Hey, you should have thought of that beforehand. I think he's just big braining us, bro. Don't worry about it. Hey, quick. So, your attack modifier is what you add on to when you're rolling to attack to hit somebody, right? Not for initiative. Uh, and, <laughs> so, yeah, it's okay. And this right, so tree to says to you, number two, welcome, challenger. Uh oh. And is that where you guys want to call this session? What? So right an hour and a half in. What do you guys want to do? Um, do you think that, okay, so do you think that it, this will take longer than 30 minutes to get rid of this? Who's to say? No, like it, okay, seriously. Then. If it's going to last it's... super long then You know what? I say we call it quits today just because who knows, maybe uh, Gareth Holt and Earthmover find their way to us they in the middle of battle. Pedal bodies. <laughs> in the middle, yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're just looking around. And they're like, "Wow, this was a very dangerous floor." Yeah, that we, yeah, we're like, yeah, we we did really good. <laughs> this is nothing. Okay, I say that we, I say that we wait. Okay. Until next week. Actually, okay. So next week, I will be in Nashville. They have the internet there. Yes, I will try to. Can I bring my laptop on a plane or through a check bag? Yeah, you can have yeah, it on you your um, carry on. Okay, I'll check it. Oh, I can have it on my carry on too. All right. Yeah, you yeah. can. Uh, you just gotta turn it off during the X-ray. Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, until um, next time, I've been your host and dungeon master, Drew, being joined by Bitch and the Spider Slayer, Gordon. Brown.